Joe Well, thanks for joining us. Can you just tell us more about the Sleep 1000 campaign? Yeah, so um, me and a group of my friends um, have decided that, obviously we've all seen the images and, and stuff coming out of Ukraine at the minute. Um, really sad time for, I think, the world as a whole, what's going on there. Um, but more so the, the refugees and the people that are uh, fleeing the country and, and scrambling to get out away from uh, the fighting and, and the destruction, really. So we're raising awareness and trying to collect as many sleeping bags, essential goods such as bandages, um, formula milk, batteries, um, torches, things like that. Um, really important things that people need to, to live and get on with their life and survive, really. Um, there's a hell of a lot of people fleeing to Krakow, and one of my friends um, is uh, in communication with somebody at, at a church in Krakow, um, so we're able to take some van, van loads of sleeping bags and the things I've just mentioned over there and, and basically give back. And what has the initial response been like so far? Amazing. Um, I think, obviously, I don't know what time this will, when this video will go out, but we're three or four days in now and we've reached the um, £10,000 mark that we set out to, to achieve. Um, massive thanks to everybody who's contributed, whether that be sleeping bags, blankets, um, like I said, all, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't go unnoticed and you'll help out a lot of people. Um, yeah inundated with with messages on my social media and texts and uh where's the drop-off points and things like that um but yeah a lot of sleeping bags a lot of really kind people and um it was my not it wasn't my idea it was one of my friends who i said is is in communication with somebody at church and um he said basically if you can can raise awareness so i thought using my my profile and getting the Forest family involved is something that we smashed the target and I'm really proud. And it just goes to show one small act of kindness added together can really help a different, help make a difference for people in need. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter who it is. I think um, as, as, as human beings have responsibilities to look after each other and I think with what's going on at the minute, it's unacceptable. Um, some of the images and videos, we've all seen them, but we've had them directly sent to us and We've seen the conditions that the people are living in in Krakow and the refugees from Ukraine. Bless them. Um, they're, they've got nothing. Um, they've had to up sticks and, and leave as quickly as possible, um, fearing for their lives. You can't imagine what that's like. Um, and yeah, like I've mentioned, I think the Forest family and people from all over the country, really, I've had messages from a few Dagenham and Redbridge fans who I was there when I was younger uh, sending very kindly um, a couple of hundred quid over and yeah it's amazing really the the broadcast that the football family's got. I was about to say as well it's important to see the football family and all the teams recognising it before kickoff during games it really brings to the fore what's happening. Yeah you only have to watch Gary Lineker's interview with Zinchenko and, and um, the way he speaks and and the bravery he showed to speak up about the topic is inspiring and that's that's all we aim to do really as as people and especially if you you've got a platform like we have as footballers i think we do have a, a duty to to raise awareness for things like this um whatever cause it may be whether it's the rainbow laces cancer research stuff that lyle does um the sleep 1000 with the Ukraine um, sleeping bags and aid I think it, there's no no better it brings me a lot of joy that everybody can come together at this time and really make a difference and in terms of contributing to this how can supporters get involved moving forward so the drop-off points are listed on um, my socials um, on my Twitter and my Facebook um, but also I think we're having a um, collection point against QPR midweek on the Wednesday um, if people want to bring down sleeping bags, blankets, things like that. But also we'd like to stress no toys or clothes. Um, I think if, if everybody brought down a sleeping bag, that would be fantastic. Um, the peop you'd think that everybody would be able to find some shelter in Krakow because it's a, obviously a safe, big place, but people have nothing to, to sleep in. It's, it's bitterly cold at the minute over there. Um, 
So although they're um, flee, they're, they're away from Ukraine and the fighting. They're not away from um, sleepless nights and, and comfort, which I think the the least they deserve.